Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert your string data in attribute table to integer. So for my case I have this, I have my columns, I'll open here. So for instance I have my attribute table like this one. That means I want to, for instance, I want to add this particular column for, for instance, maybe porthole, this one, porthole extent and porthole severity to this column. But mind you, these are in text. So let's see, how do you know they're in text? You can always, for instance, you can try like we are deleting here and you can see here, yeah, porthole PTH, you see? See here that in ABC, that means this is the type of data, which is text. Or what you can do, you can also look at this way to how to know the type of the field form by clicking, then go to fields. Then you see here, you can see the field forms here. You see text string. I'm specifically, I mean, focus on this portal. This one, FP, this is severity, this is extent. So I want to add, by the way, they're both string. But for this example, I'll show you how to convert string to integer. So I have this case. So how do you do it? Make sure you watch the video to the end. Simple like that. So I'll just go to my attribute table again here. Then we run only one command, which is to integer. Then go to open field calculator. So this is your field calculator. Which command are you going to run? Is this one here. Search for your to integer or conversion. See here, to integer. Actually, what this expression does, it converts a string to integer number. That's shown here. So you just write two underscore integer, which converts the string to integer value. Because why do integer value? Because I want to do some addition or subtraction and some arithmetic calculation. So I'll just write to integer. Yes. Okay. Now I want to add those particular columns. Okay. Uh, so I'll just, I want to add this field value, which is portal. So for instance, I want to add this one plus this one. Okay, then bingo, you see, it adds. But now, mind you, it is 23. For instance, if it's a two and three. So now what you're required to do is to convert one by one. So I'll just do this to integer. Then right here to integer. Okay, yes. Now it is five. Before it was two, three, because when you put a plus sign, it just two plus three, it adds, like it concatenates, so it becomes 23. But here it becomes 25 because for instance, when it takes 2 plus 3, it is 5. So that's it. So here now, this you have converted to your integer now. So let us keep it here. Give it a value. Let us go to the portals. We want to convert mm, portals, PTH, FP. I want to put it here inside this column. So when I say apply, okay. When I go to my specific column now, PTH, FP here. You see now here. For instance, you see here. It does values. PTFP, this one here. Okay. Uh, it is pt okay sorry it is this column, particular column here yeah, here yeah, this one here you see three plus five eight three plus five eight but if before it was writing 35 because it was string so now it has five plus five ten five plus five ten so that's it so this is the way of actually converting string data to integer value three plus four is seven so you're done simple like that so you can do for the other columns so mind you the best command to write the expression is using two underscore integer which actually converts string to integer value so thank you. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. Gracias.